20 Best South Korean Movies of All Time Here are some of the most well-known South Korean movies. Number 1. Parasite Parasite is a 2019 South Korean black comedy thriller film directed by Bong Joon-ho, focusing on the symbiotic relationship between the wealthy Park family and the destitute Kim clan. The Kim scheme to become employed by the Parks, posing as unrelated individuals. The Kims provide luxury services while the Parks bankroll their entire household. However, when a parasitic interloper threatens their comfort, a savage battle for dominance ensues that threaten the delicate ecosystem between the Kims and the Parks. The film has been praised for its compelling storytelling, social commentary, and powerful performances making it one of the most highly regarded South Korean movies of all time. Number 2. Train to Busan Train to Busan is a 2016 South Korean action horror film directed by Yoon Sang-ho. The film follows a group of terrified passengers on a high-speed train from Seoul to Busan as they fight through a zombie virus outbreak. The film has been praised for its intense action, emotional death, and compelling storytelling, making it a highly recommended watch for fans of the zombie horror thriller genre. The film follows the passenger's journey to Busan, a southern resort city that has managed to hold off the zombie hoarders. Number 3. Memories of Murder Memories of Murder, South Korean crime thriller film directed by Bong Joon-ho, based on the true story of a serial rapist and murderer in 1980s South Korea. The film follows three detectives as they investigate a string of rapes and murders in Hwasong, South Korea. The story revolves around the detective's struggle to find the killer before he strikes again. The film has been praised for its compelling storytelling, Bong's direction, and the performances of its cast. It is widely considered one of the best East Asian films ever made, showcasing the complexities of, of the investigation and the police force's relentless pursuit of justice. Number 4. Miracle in Cell Number 7 Miracle in Cell Number 7 is a 2013 South Korean comedy drama film directed by Lee Hwang Kyung. The story follows Lee Yong Koo, a mentally impaired man, and his six year old daughter, Kya Song, who share a close relationship. However, Yong Koo is wrongly accused of a crime he did not commit and is imprisoned. The film follows their emotional journey as they navigate prison life and maintain their bond. The heartwarming narrative and enduring love between father and daughter form the emotional core of the film, evoking a range of emotions. It has been highly acclaimed and beloved in South Korean cinema. Number 5. Silence Silence is a 2011 South Korean crime drama film based on the novel The Crucible by Gong ji -yong. The film follows the experiences of Kang in an art teacher at Benevolence Academy, a school for hearing impaired children in Mujin, North Chola province. The film follows in Ho, the human rights activist So Yoo Jin, and human rights activist So Yoo Jin as they fight for children's rights and expose the crimes committed at the school. The film has garnered critical acclaim and has led to changes in South Korean law and legislation. The film sheds light on the true events and the fight for justice in the face of heinous crimes, highlighting the importance of addressing such issues in society. Number 6. The Witch, Part 1, The Subversion the Witch Part 1, The Subversion is a 2018 South Korean science fiction action horror film directed by Park Hun Jong. The film follows a high school student who becomes a murder weapon through medical experiments on living bodies. Suffering from an identity crisis, she becomes involved in a crime. The film explores the protagonist's journey, focusing on her past and her involvement in a web of mystery and danger. The film has been praised for its compelling narrative, surprising twist, and captivating lead actress performance. Number 7. 20th Century Girl 20th Century Girl is a South Korean romance drama film that follows the first love and friendships of 17-year-old Bora, a member of the broadcasting club. 
Set in 1999, the film follows Bora and her friends as they navigate the complexities of first love and youth. The film captures the emotion and challenges of teenage romance and friendship, making it a relatable and engaging watch for fans of romantic dramas and teen movies. The film has been praised for its charming and heartfelt portrayal of youth and first love. Number 8. Emergency Declaration Emergency Declaration is a 2021 South Korean disaster action thriller film directed by Han Jirin. The film follows a passenger jet declaring an emergency after a terror incident occurs mid-flight. Authorities discover a suspect has boarded an international flight bound for the United States. Panic ensues when a healthy passenger dies of unknown cause. With decreasing fuel prices, the international refusals of over eight, the captain and crew take unprecedented emergency measures to save their passengers. The film features a stellar cast and has been praised for its intense, high-stakes thriller elements and realistic portrayal of a crisis situation. The movie has garnered attention for its compelling storytelling, powerful performances, and ability to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Number 9. Soulmate Soulmate is a 2023 South Korean film that follows the dynamic friendship between An Mi Soul and Go Hae Eun, two young girls who meet at 13 and becomes friends over 14 years. The film explores themes of love, jealousy, and personal growth. As secrets are revealed and questions arise about their 15-year friendship, Starring Kim Dami, Jon Sonny, and Byung Sok, the film is praised for its compelling storytelling, powerful performances, and emotional journey of the characters. It offers a relatable portrayal of the complexities of friendship and personal growth, making it an engaging watch for fans of coming-of-age dramas. Number 10, The Child. The Child is a 2023 South Korean neo-noir action thriller film directed by Park Hun Jong. The film follows Mark Ko Han, a boxer of Korean-Filipino descent, as he navigates his mixed heritage and confronts challenges. The film stars Kang Tae Joo, Kim Son Ho, and Go Ara. The film has been highly anticipated, with Kim Son Ho's debut and praised for its compelling storytelling, action-packed sequences, and talented cast. The film has been praised for its gripping plot and portrayal of a struggle for survival and identity. Number 11, 2037. 2037 is a South Korean film directed by Moon Moon Jin that was released in 2022. The film is a human drama set among female convicts and shows the narrative of people who strive to provide hope to a 19 year old girl's hard to believe reality. Yoon Young, a 19 year old girl who aspires to be a civil servant, who lives with her single deaf mother and works part time in a cafe, is the protagonist of the film. The story dives into the struggles and optimism that arise from the protagonist's challenging situations. 2037 has been praised for its gripping storytelling and depiction of the human experience in the backdrop of a jail environment. Number 12. The Negotiation The Negotiation is a 2018 South Korean action crime thriller film directed by Lee Chung Sok, starring Son Ye Jin and Hyun Bin. The film follows Ha Jae Yoon, a crisis negotiator from the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, as she navigates a hostage crisis. The film explores the moral complexities within the characters, blurring the lines between good and bad. Known for its suspense, great acting, well thought out screenplay, and commentary on Korean society, The Negotiation offers a refreshing thriller with compelling performances and a relevant portrayal of societal anxieties and moral ambiguities. Number 13, The Handmaiden. The Handmaiden is a 2016 South Korean historical erotic psychological thriller film inspired by the 2002 novel Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Set in Victorian era Britain and under Japanese colonial rule, the film follows Suki, a young Korean woman hired as a handmaiden to a wealthy Japanese heiress, Lady Hideko. As she becomes closer to Lady Hideko, she develops feelings for her. The film explores themes of love, betrayal, and power dynamics as the characters navigate their complex relationships and secret. 
Known for its stunning cinematography, intricate plot, and powerful performances, The Handmaiden is a highly acclaimed and beloved film in South Korean cinema. Number 14, Unforgettable. Unforgettable is a 2016 South Korean romance drama film directed by Lee Eun-hee. The film follows a radio DJ who receives a letter from a listener, leading him and his friend on a memory-driven journey through adolescence, friendship, and first love. The story explores themes of nostalgia, friendship, and the bitterness nature of growing up. The film has been praised for its touching portrayal of youth and first love, making it a relatable and engaging watch for fans of romantic dramas and coming-of-age films. Number 15, The Tower. The Tower is a 2012 South Korean disaster film directed by Kim Ji Hoon. Set in Tower Sky, a 120 story twin tower building complex in Yeouido, Seoul. The film follows the events of a Christmas Eve party at the tower, which is interrupted by a fire that engulfs the building. The film portrays the heroic efforts of individuals as they try to save themselves and others from the deadly blaze. The film is known for its high-stakes action, intense drama, and portrayal of human resilience in the face of disaster. Number 16, The Gangster, The Cop, and The Devil The Gangster, The Cop, and The Devil is a 2019 South Korean action thriller film directed by Lee Won Tae featuring Ma Dong Sok, Kim Woo Yeol, and Kim Jong Gil. The film follows Chang Dong Soo, a gang boss in Cheonan, who becomes the target of a serial killer, Kang Kyung Ho. After surviving an attack, Jung Dong Soo becomes the only person to have survived an encounter with the killer. Detective Jung Tae Sok, who dislikes organized crime, reluctantly teams up with Jung Dong Soo to catch the serial killer. The film is praised for its intense storyline, compelling performances, and unexpected collaboration in the pursuit of justice. Based on real-life events in South Korea, it offers a gripping and gritty portrayal of crime and justice. Number 17, I Saw the Devil I Saw the Devil is a 2010 South Korean action thriller film directed by Kim ji Hoon and written by Park Hun jong The film follows secret agent Kim soo Hyun, who becomes obsessed with hunting down the serial killer Jung kyung Chol, who murdered his fiancée. The film explores the intense cat and mouse game between soo Hyun and Jung kyung Chol as the former seeks revenge while the latter continues his killing spree. The film is praised for its intense storyline, powerful performances, and graphic violence, making it a challenging yet rewarding watch for thriller fans. The film's disturbing content makes it a challenging yet rewarding watch. Number 18, A Werewolf Boy. A Werewolf Boy is a 2012 South Korean fantasy romance film directed by Jo Sung Hee. The story follows a beautiful teenage girl named Sun Yi, who is sent to a country house for her health. She befriends and civilizes a feral boy named Chul Su, who reveals a kind-hearted and curious sight. As their bond deepens, the beast inside Chul Su threatens to burst out, leading to a tragic romance. The film has been praised for its heartfelt storytelling, powerful performances, and emotional journey of the characters. It has a unique take on the fantasy romance genre and resonates with audiences on an emotional level. Number 19, Midnight Runners. Midnight Runners is a 2017 South Korean action comedy film directed by Choi Sun Kim, starring Park Sojun and Kang Hano. The film follows two students at Korean National Police University, Kwang Ki Jun and Kang Ki Yol, who witness a kidnapping and use their knowledge to track down the kidnappers. They uncover a dangerous underworld of human trafficking, sex crime, and organ extraction. The film showcases the unlikely partnership between the two students as they navigate the criminal underworld to save the victim. The film has been praised for its thrilling action sequences, comedic elements, and lead actors' performances, making it an engaging watch for action comedy fans. Number 20, A Life. A Life is a 2020 South Korean film directed by Cho il Young, focusing on Oh Junu a video game live streamer who finds himself alone in his sole apartment during a zombie apocalypse. 
The film explores his struggle for survival and isolation, as well as the uncertainty of his family's safety. The story also introduces Kim Yoo Bin, a female tenant in the same apartment building. In the same apartment building, who becomes a key figure in Juno's fight. The film is known for its unique setting, intense portrayal of isolation and survival, and its gripping storyline, core elements, and lead actors' performances, making it a compelling watch for zombie fans. So there we have it. Our picks were 20 best South Korean movies of all time. What do you think of our picks? Do you agree? Are there any notable omissions? Let us know in the comments below.